Now, this region of Arizona was home to many native Indian tribes, like Hohokam, Mogollon, and ancestral Puebloan for thousands of years before the European exploration in the 1500s. The recorded history of Arizona begins with Marcos de Niza in the first European to contact Native Americans in the region in 1539. The expedition of Spanish conquistador Francisco Vasquez de Coronado, as mentioned earlier, who entered the area in 1540 to 1542 during his search for Cibola in the actually mythical Seven Cities of Gold. It was a common belief that the Seven Cities of Gold actually existed, and Coronado thought that it was in Arizona. Yeah, no, actually it turned out that was just a myth. Now, regardless, Spain decided to create and founded the Presidios, or fortified towns, at Tubac in 1752 and Tucson in 1775, and took control over this region since then. Then, when Mexico achieved its independence from Spain in 1821, this region became part of Mexican territory of Nuevo California, or Alta California, which is New California or Upper California, respectively. Now, as Mexico itself was defeated in the Mexican-American War of 1848, the U.S. took control of the Arizona region above the Gila River, which became part of the territory of New Mexico. Now, by means of the Gadsden Purchase, the U.S. secured the northern part of the state of Sonora, which is now the Arizona south of the Gila River in 1854 as to facilitate for the ambitious southern route of the Transcontinental Railway. And for just a year in 1862, the southern part of the territory of New Mexico seceded from the Union to form the Territory of Arizona and supported the Confederate States in the Civil War. But in March 1862, the Union troops from California captured and returned this region of Arizona back to the New Mexico Territory. But then, in a year later, in 1863, the U.S. split up the New Mexican Territory to create the Arizona Territory, with Prescott as its capital. But, in a series of rather controversial moves, the capital itself was later moved to Tucson then back to Prescott, and then to its final and current location in Phoenix in 1889, which means it had four changes over three different capitals in its history. Now, the arrival of railroads in 1880 eased the remoteness of the region as Arizona became part of the ambitious project I've told you earlier as the Southern Transcontinental Railway System. And finally, Arizona was admitted to the United States of America on February 14th, 1912 as the 48th and the last of the contiguous states. Thanks so much for watching. Love you. Akash.